All right, so I don't even know what I, whatever I taped, if it even saves itself or not, but um, basically in my video, I wanted to catch up on um, my whole strobing effect. Um, in my other video, I touched base on the Honey Lust eyeshadow I use. I applied it to the tops of my cheekbones, tip of my nose. I went a step further and dipped a bridge in my nose, and that I end up having to pause my video but um, I don't even know if it's saved or not, but I end up getting a phone call. Um, in my phone call, I basically just found out when my surgery is. Um, I've been diagnosed with breast cancer. It's been a major stress to find out when I'm having my surgery. I'm ready to have this cancer out of my body. I currently have two cancers in my right breast. Um, I'm ready to begin my journey. I already know I'm diagnosed and now there's this time in between. So while I'm on medical leave and I'm just trying to get my life together, um, I don't want to be negative in my videos, but it, it's just really glad to hear today um, that I know when, when my surgery is. Um, I'm going to probably discuss more or less how I'm feeling on a different day, but I'm just at least glad that I know when my surgery is. So maybe in my other video, if because I went backwards, I hit pause. I hit the wrong button by mistake and it made me go back and I don't even know if it saved that first seven or so minutes of my video but um, basically I, I, I'm, I'm about to go ahead and do errands I need to probably wrap it up really soon my husband's getting impatient but if if in fact that 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 excuse me I, well, I hope well it doesn't even matter that that's natural function <laughs> um so anyways um because it, it sounded like a fart but it wasn't <laughs> but i wasn't gonna like excuse it or not but anyways it's kind of awkward to say in your tutorial but um that was just my foot brushing against the bottom <laughs> of of my chair but um in 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 in, in this um i just want to show the pro palette i touch a lot on on the pro palette hopefully it's in the video maybe it's not color I use is honey lust I know I'm kind of just skimming and going through it pretty fast but I've had several videos so you pretty much should know where I'm at now um, I added that eyeshadow to the top of my cheekbones tip of my nose bridge bridge of my nose a little bit on my forehead to give that strobing effect um, and I can't even function right now because I just got this really important news um, regarding my health. So, excuse me if I'm a little scatterbrained. But I think in my video, the last thing I did was I applied this um, vitamin E. It's a, it's a face mist. Actually, it's from the body shop. It's not in its actual bottle because I've had this for quite some time. And I'm just coming to the last bit of it. So sometimes when I travel, I move product from one to the other. So at least it's in the size that you can travel with, which is three ounces or less. This is, I believe, a three ounce bottle. And it's basically just a vitamin E mess. I'll probably have to Google it because I don't even remember the exact name. But it will be in my description below this video. And I just slightly spritz on my face. That's where I was in the midst of doing before I had to open a door and pause my video and answer that phone call um, so that's basically how I finish my look that kinda just sets my makeup refreshes it gives us a nice little effervescence to it um, that's just another little trick that I do um, but I am going to wrap up this video it's probably the shortest video of them all that I've done but the reason why I'm so scatterbrained is that I finally find out when I'm scheduled for my double mastectomy um, surgery I um, was told also when I'm scheduled for my pre-op with my reconstructive surgeon um, and I also have been told what when um, I go for my lymphatic mapping I guess that's for my lymph nodes so this information is like really major and I'm a little scatterbrained because of that information I've been waiting for for over a week and been stressed about it. I dealt with some crazy matters last week um, regarding around my FMLA, regarding, regarding around my short-term disability, um, regarding around just the whole financial. So today is um, 
I believe the 4th, November 4th, we were able to pay our rent yesterday, so that's good. Pay our electric bill, um, put some gas in the car, so I am grateful for that. Thank you for the grace of God for that happening. I had to make another phone call in regards to my insurance. Not, not This has to do with critical illness insurance that they've kind of been dragging their feet with, so I called last night in regards to that. I'll probably call again um, just to make sure they mail me the information so I'm able to pay... Um, our bills, you know, I, I, I also covered my husband's cell phone bills. So it's really been hard not working. Um, my, my, my medical leave is probably going to end, um, eventually. And, um, that leaves me worried about my job and how, as I'm like recouping from my surgery, how that's going to all play itself out. But, um, I think with my boss, I'm just going to work on scheduling and just kind of like um, him just mapping everything out around after my um, surgery and how I'm going to cope and how I'm going to work and how things are going to change. Um, so I'll probably be going back to work after the new year um, or maybe even longer than that. Who knows? But it is pretty nerve-wracking, um, finally getting that news. It's, it, it, it's wor First, it's nerve-wracking to find out that you're diagnosed with breast cancer. It's even more so nerve-wracking finding out that you're diagnosed with two cancers in your right breast and possibly one on your left. So, but the, the, the biggest thing that was on been on my mind is really finding out my surgery. And... Um, just kind of planning my life around that up until that because I'm actually trying to plan my life as if that's my last day on earth and that's really kind of negative and I'm really a positive person but I'm a planner too and I don't want to leave my husband and my children not in a position where they're good you know so it's kind of scary that I'm thinking that way right before the holidays right before Christmas but Maybe that'll give the doctors even a little more added pressure to make sure I survive <laughs> um, my surgery. Um, but um, I am happy to know when it is so I can plan myself up until then and be ready mentally. Um, my body's ready physically. We're ready for this to go, but I want to be ready mentally um, on that. So um, I do want to end my video. Um, with my final look, I am happy with how my makeup turned out. It is inspired by Lupita Nyong'o. And um, it, it, it was originally um, inspired by Thanksgiving, but with the burgundy lipstick, I think it's a great Thanksgiving look. Just make sure when you do wear this look on Thanksgiving, make sure you have your lip gloss and your lipstick and your lip liner with you because you may get a little messy and you want to be able to reapply but I think when I the technique I use by applying the lip liner first will keep the keep it on longer you'll just lose a gloss and sheen to it but all colors are the same color it just gives that extra gloss to it that I was inspired by that cover of that Vogue magazine and strobing and contouring highlighting she did so I'm really happy how my makeup came out I didn't have any real mishaps um, my eyeshadow came out the way I want it. My mascara looks really good on this eye. This eye is kind of like, hmm, blah. But I'm not upset. Sometimes it's like a fail, sometimes with makeup. But I think it turned out okay. Um, if you were wondering what I'm doing, I'm just putting lotion on my hands. I didn't put it on before. And my hands are really ashy. I normally show, I use this lotion by Bath & Body Works. Warm vanilla sugar. It smells so good. Sets a mood for my mood and morale. But my mood and morale is really good. All I got to do now is hurry up and get dressed. <laughs> get my hair together so we can make it to our destination to pick up the tickets. So we can go on our little family road trip tomorrow. Which I'm so excited for. So, in conclusion to my video. This is basically the last bit of my video. I'm going to do one more video on just styling my hair. And um, I'll see you guys in a couple of days. I'm not going to post a video tomorrow, Saturday, because I'm going to be on a family uh, road trip. 
to Asheville, which I'm so excited for. And Sunday, I'm going to leave that as a day um, to be with my family. And I may not post on Mondays either because um, I want to leave one day during the week not to post. But if I do post another video, it may be on Monday. And um, I'll see you then. All right, guys. Enjoy your weekend. Um, I have one more video I'm going to tape. And if you still want to keep following my videos, the next video is going to be on how I style my hair um, in just a moment. So hope to see you soon.